Okay, we're going to get back to this. We're going to work on the the uh, e-stop circuit and this CNT1, the e-stop contactor. But before we do that, we've got to get voltage to the commons of the inputs here so that they function. So, to do that, we're going to go from TB1, 11B, which is positive 24 volts. That's TB1, 11B. And we're going to go up to C. And then we're going to jumper C. C13 through 16, C9 through 12. We're going to jumper C5 through 8. And we're jumper in C1 through 4. So 24 volts is going to come from our 24 volts here on TB1, 11B. It's going to go up to C and jumper through. So now the inputs are going to put out the 24 volts needed to finish the circuit. So it's going to come out from these inputs to whatever and then to common, which is down here. This is our negative 24 volts. So we've taken care of this. We'll probably leave this on the board now as long as we're referring to inputs and outputs and so forth. So remember our e-stop contactor has got two, two contact blocks and they're both normally closed. Let me pan up just a little bit. There we go. Alright, so our e-stop signal input is on input 11 right here. So we're going to run one wire from TB1 15A, which is common, through our contact, and then it's going to go to the all-in-one DC H1011. This is H1011. So what did I say? TB1 15A. So here's, let me double check that. Yeah, TB1 15A. So we're going to come off of this side. We're going to go up to our e-stop button to here. And then on the other side of restop button, we're going to go to the all one DC H1011 input. So here, to here. So now you can see our circuit's closed. 24 volts goes up. It's going through these commons. are all tied together. Then it's going to go through input 11. It's going to go up through the e-stop button and down. So as long as this e-stop button is in its normal state, the all one DC will see that and it'll be happy. Circuit's good. You, you mash the e-stop button. It opens. All one DC sees the circuit open and it says e-stop fault. Okay, so that's, that's one circuit. Now the next part of the circuit. So I'm from, from our button, we're going to CNT1A1. Here's CNT. This is CNT1. A1. Here's A1. Here's A2. So we're going to go from here to here. E-stop button to CNT A1. Now the other side's going to all-in-one H6 output 1. H6 and the output, let me look at the plate here, H6 output 1. This is our fault e-stop relay. So. Yeah, output one. So this is going to come down, over, double check this. Yeah, output one comes down here. And then on the other side, so you see our, here's our contact closure. We want to come off the other side here. And the other side, is going to our 24, 24 volts DC. So we're coming off of 24 volts DC because I'm using, let's back up a little bit. The all-in-one DC 
schematic calls for a 24 volt AC transformer. Now you can certainly do that and you would be using 24 volts AC if you want to use if you want to use a 24 volt AC coil. I, I, I personally in mine I didn't want to do that because I had 24 volts DC I didn't want to add another transformer to come up with 24 volts AC. Though it is easier to find contactors that are 24 volt AC. A little easier to find. So uh, we're going with 24 volts DC here. So now we're going from we're, I have it going from 11 TB111A 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 this is our our 24 volts it's going up over and down now remember 24 volts DC is coming from our power supply to this 11A so that's where we get our voltage from and our com comes down to our common here okay so now our e-stop button here's the ground so here's here's our commons going up going down going over and that's the e-stop input and our other side we've got 24 volts DC going over through the e-stop contact and the all one DC it goes over it goes up to the e-stop over and then a2 is going to go to TB115B, TB115B. So we're going to go like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. So you see the circuit, okay? So as long as it's closed, we got 24 volts going, we've got 24 volts going over, through, and this contact when, remember, when the all-in-one DC is in its normal state, no fault state, that thing is closed, it's energized and it's closed. So it goes up, over, it's going through it, going up to the e-stop. Again, in normal state, this is closed. It goes through, through the coil, back to common. So it's a complete circuit. In, in normal state, this is the, you, so you see that the e-stop button contact and the output one relay is closed. They're in series with each other. So either one of them, if there's a fault in all-in-one DC, it can open the circuit, de-energize the e-stop contactor and throw a fault or if you hit the e-stop button you're opening the circuit and you're opening the e-stop contactor which from our earlier video on the cat board opens the circuit and takes away the voltage the bus voltage DC bus voltage that went through these two to the all-in-one DC H2 VM minus and V plus so you can see it takes away from that as well so that's our e-stop circuit one of them is a definite straight to the input, the e-stop input. Remember, we got 24 volts going through here. It's coming out, it's 24 volts to the common. Then it comes out on the e-stop, goes up to the button, down, and to, to the negative 24 volt circuit. So it's closed. The all one DC is happy. So that is our e-stop circuit. That's our e-stop contactor, okay? So again, hit the e-stop button, circuit's open, de-energizes the e-stop contactor and tells the all-in-one DC that there's an e-stop button pressed. Again, if the all-in-one DC faults for whatever reason, because it's in series with the e-stop circuit, it can open this and also uh, de-energize the CNT1 contactor, okay? So that's our e-stop circuit. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple once you break it down and see it like this.